Just like Pokemon, Lethal Company has a wide variety of creatures, friends, and monsters you can encounter. So I thought, why not combine these two ideas? This is a Lethal Company themed shiny hunt. Before jumping into things, I just want to clarify that most of my hunts are done with Encounter Power Level 2, Shiny Charm, and no Sparkling Power. It's just my preferred way to hunt, so don't expect the most optimal of odds out there. Okay, onto our first target, starting off with the Thumper. Thumpers are beige creatures with only forearms that can reach incredible speeds when running in a straight line. When thinking of a Pokemon that would best suit this, I remember that Indigo Disc actually reintroduced the perfect target for me, that being Rhyhorn. It fits in pretty much every regard, minus having the two extra limbs. Oh, oh my god, there it is! My game froze, but oh my god, that's really quick! And it stopped right next to- You better come back here, mate. You better come back here. Hello! That was really quick! Oh my goodness! Let's go with a heal ball. I know you're not damaged, but heal ball would look nice. There we go, critical capture. Oh my goodness. That was really quick. We got our Thumper already. That was... That was unbelievably fast. Following on from that, we have the funniest risk-reward mechanic in the game. The Circuit Bees. Despite not being electric, Combi immediately leapt to mind here since, you know, it's a bee, and its shiny colour shares a similar red to the actual creature. Especially when like you're playing alone and then like in the distance you see uh, you see a mimic with the mask on and you're just like I'm not playing with anyone. Who is that? Or just like you hear a sound in the distance, which would be like, you know, standard footsteps, but then you realize oh, oh, oh. Me realizing, me realizing that that is a shiny that's a shiny. This is a shiny, right? This is a shiny! I can't believe I noticed that! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got birded. I got burped. Is that a shiny? That might be a shiny. That might be a shiny Fido. I'm actually... I'm certain that might be. That look... Yeah, that... Oh, that, that is absolutely shiny. Come on over here, you. That is full-on shiny. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we got the bread dog. We're getting that bread. And we caught it. Well. That was pretty good. But of course, we got to check the static Vesper coin. Gotta check that every reset, because who knows? Static Vesper Quen could be the shiny... The answer is no! But maybe next reload. Wait a second! Wait! That's the shiny combi! Never mind! <laughs> that's it right there! Yoink! Never mind! Thank you, Vesper Quinn. You know what, let's catch it in a, in a funny little Pokeball. Match the colors and everything. Well, hey! That is a very quick start to today. There you go, just about fits. Alright, how far into the sandwich was I? Not even, like, two minutes or something like that. That's crazy. The next creature I chose was the Hygrodary. Yes, that is its actual name. Or, as most people refer to it, Blob. With it being a round blue blob, it's only appropriate that I look for a Pokemon that matches that description. And I think Solosis fits it best. Here we go. Let's stop there. Take a look around. Uh, apparently slide multiple times on the spot. Oh, oh my god, that's a shiny! That's a shiny, isn't it? That's yeah, that's a shiny. That's a shiny. Oh my god, that's a shiny Luminion. <laughs> Yoink! I'm not looking for you, but oh wow. It's not what we're looking for, but hey, I'm happy to have that shiny. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, now we now we got it. Now we got it. There, there is no doubt that that is not the shiny. I know we've had our fake outs before, but that that's got to be, right? That's got to be. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that that is still fairly subtle, not as not as subtle as uh, as I was expecting, but it's still really subtle. All right, let's throw it again. Come on, we can get it in a great ball. There we go. We got our blob, our little slimy fella. Being a very subtle shiny, I ended up getting an outbreak randomly, and I decided to stick with that instead to get slightly better odds and slightly less strained eyes. Moving on to the infamous Ghost Girl now, a spirit that haunts facilities you enter, but only one person at a time. Immediately coming to mind, I thought this hunt would be perfect for Gotharita. Sure, it lacks the red dress and the ghost typing, but thematically, I think it fits really well. Yes, hello, I was wondering if you could play that song again. Which one? The one that goes, oh, tell me what you want, what you really want, I'll tell you what you want, what I really, really want. I want a what, I want a what, I want a what. You know, that one. Oh, come on. Why do you have to do that? I'm doing my chicken little impression. Why'd the shiny have to show up now? <laughs> you know what I want? I really want you. All right, there you go. Shiny time. <laughs> that was so quick, genuinely. Look, look how far in we are. Six minutes, we're six minutes into the hunt. That's actually nuts. I made her cry. She didn't like, she doesn't like Spice Girls. Guys, is it true that goth people don't like Spice Girls? That was a super quick hunt. That was mega quick. We didn't even need to make a new sandwich. This is still the Solosa sandwich. Moving on to a slightly newer enemy, we have the Nutcracker. This creature is a red soldier that patrols facilities with its powerful shotgun. Now, there aren't many Pokemon that really stand out with a similar description. So I decided to go for something that was, you know, somewhat similar. Armor Rouge. It has tints of red, and can combine its arms into a big powerful blaster. You know, it can act a bit like a shotgun. Okay, it's the closest I can think of, alright? Where am I going? Uh, again, I'm a lemming. I was looking at chat. Although this time I just didn't jump off a cliff, I just looked away... That's a shiny blaze Taurus right there. That is a shiny blaze Taurus. Right there. I got an eye for these things. I know them. I know them. <laughs> there we go. I was expecting if I was going to get another shiny Taurus, it would have been Combat Breed, but I really like Blaze Breed. Blaze Breed is like one of my favorite Pokemon. So that longer gap means that they want us to be uh, to know about it earlier, but still keep the uh, release time the same, which is why we think that the marketing is being stretched out so they can work on it longer. Uh, hello? That was really quick. Alright. Good up. Hey, maybe this is our Mega Go Goat. Hey, if we get Mega Go Goat in Legend ZA, this is why. The shiny. Did I run past the shiny? The turret? No! Is it still here? Did it get too far? Can you, can you clip it? Oh my god. I was looking I was looking multiple times and I couldn't even see it still. That you're right, that is a shiny. I was watching that eagle eye the whole time and I couldn't even see it. Oh my god. Yeah, we missed a combat breed. Oh yeah, also for fun, I recently started a Buzzwell hunt on my Ultra Sun. You know, just for fun. I did unfortunately lose my golf counter though, I want to try and find that again. Because I don't like using my PC calculator. Because I, I use that to, to keep track of hunts when I lose my golf counter. And I've lost my golf counter! Hello, hello, hello! Have we redeemed it? We've reclaimed it! The shiny is back! The exact same form as well. Yoink, uh, where'd you go? You get back at you. I was paying attention this time. I was paying attention this time. Reclaimed. Only 24 minutes later. 
Welcome back, combat breed. It was in the same position. Oh, is it? Is yeah, it is the same position. You're right. Do you guys mind? I'm talking to a goat. I swear this is a static encounter, by the way. I always see one Nackley here. But it's not. I always think it is, because, like, there's always one Nackley. Ah, oh, I guess. Oh. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, hello. I see those blue eyes. You get back here right now, you. There you are. There we go. That's like three shinies so close together. That's a good thing I stopped to look at that Nackley. <laughs> but here we are. I forgot to save beforehand. Uh, no, I did save. I, I forgot if I did. Anyway, let's, um... Ah, oh, what do I catch in? Let's catch in a repeat ball. Try it again. There we go. Hey, we got it. There we go, and let's evolve it. Here we go. And there we go, we got our Nutcracker. Now everyone's favorite, the Jester. This jack-in-the-box follows players around and winds up its music box until all hell breaks loose. For this one, it may be a controversial pick, but I chose Ice Q. It matches the colors, and the box around Ice Q's head does pop, so it matches in mechanics in a way as well. Only issue is that Ice Q is a Violet exclusive, and I own Scarlet, so time to do a lot of egg hatching. Maybe we'll find some random shinies in the process? If you want shinies as hard as, uh, as Sword and Shield, you gotta go back to, like, Emerald. <laughs> I'd say Emerald may have been a bit harder, but... What? What? That was... What? What? What, what the... Oh, what? Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe... What? Alright. Shiny Tatsugiri. <laughs> um... Uh, okay. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't, um, I didn't get to save. So hopefully it doesn't have a suicide move. I can't believe that. Are you pretty sure it does? Well, we caught it anyway. We're good. <laughs> oh, we got diamond dust going right now. Can we get a diamond dust shiny? I've never gotten a shiny during diamond dust. So I'd love to, love to get that. Yeah, this is, uh, if we hit the map button, we get the special Diamond Dust weather icon. Oh my god! The Diamond Dust Shiny! It does show up! The Diamond Dust Shiny is real! There it is! <laughs> we got it, the Diamond Dust Shiny. Wow, Penguin! I thought that Hoppet behind me was a shiny Lechonk for a second. Because all I saw was the pink running towards me. I was like, no way, shiny Lechonk. And then I saw the green leaves on top. But that. But that. <laughs> but that's a shiny. Hello. No, let me. Oh, please. Stop. Let me catch it. Let me catch it. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Can I, can I please get the shiny? Can I please get it? Is that the one? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Second one of the stream. Although the weird thing about, um, about walking wake and iron leaves, they are not mythicals because those group of, uh, paradoxes based off the legendary Pokemon are not considered legendary Pokemon. They are literally, I don't know if that's a shiny behind me, but uh, thats they're literally just considered Paradox Pokemon. They're not considered legendaries at all, which I find a little strange, to be honest. I thought they would be considered legendaries, but they're not. I was right, that is a shiny behind me. I can't believe I saw that. <laughs> 
that was a guess. I thought the lighting was weird, but yeah, that's just straight up a shiny. Well, there we go. <laughs> we got a young goose when talking about mythicals. That was, um, that was genuinely the most casual. I think a shiny just spawned. Yeah, there we go. Had to check on that Meowth. Oh, hello! But I don't have to check on that. Oh, please let me catch this Fampy. That is a shiny Fampy right there. Fampy! And we got the critical capture. Perfect. We shout out to the Cobb Cannon. Oh, when, when's the uh, when's the Plants vs Zombies team shiny hunt? What shiny will fit the Cobb Cannon? Look at me pitching ideas to myself that sound awful. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Oh my god! No, what? Oh! What? We got it. We got it. <laughs> but right when I was being a fool. When I was being a silly little fella, we got it. <laughs> Getting really close to double odds there. But with how Scarlet and Violet's egg breeding system works, I did still have a few eggs left over. And this ended up happening. Ivy Cudgel is also just like a really funny move to look at because I like its animation where Okapon is like, you know, supposed to be skipping over before swinging, but because Pokemon animations stay in place, she's just skipping on the spot. Oh my god. Are you serious? And finally, let's have a target that isn't trying to kill us for once. The goldfish. Yes, the one that you can get in the ship. I am serious. And of course, my target for the goldfish is the goldfish. Yeah, there sure is a lot. Look at that whole... Okay, there's a few more. We we do get other things like Tutel. But yeah, we're going to do the, the standard of what... Are you serious? Are you serious? Get back here! Get back here! Are you serious? I'm just showing off the area! I'm just showing off the area. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, there it is. Already. That is so noticeable. <laughs> that is so noticeable. Well, there we go. We got our shiny magic up. <laughs> already here and oh thank you chimp pal thank you so much so 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 much and we got the critical capture okay so that would have been two hours and 11 minutes for that shiny to show up but there we go we got it <laughs> and with that that's the end of what i have planned so far for my lethal company themed shiny hunt we got pretty good luck overall although most of the time of this hunt was spent trying to hatch that pink penguin and we ended up getting two, so I can't really complain. If you want to see more Lethal Company Shinies though, I do have a previous video where I tackle seven other creatures from the game, so please check that one out too. And if you've already seen it, then let me know if you want a part three by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I saw that a new Lethal Company update did just come out with new monsters, so that might be a good starting point. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.